And now, broadcasting live from the Darkroom Studio at Craven Community College, <laughs> it's In the Know. Pop up with one of my visuals. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to In the Know. I'm Craig Ramey. Good morning, Craig. I'm Megan Johnson. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. Am I bright enough for you? I, I love this color. Okay, so I wanted, you know, was it two days ago was the first day of spring? Monday? Uh, or was Tuesday. It Tuesday. 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 Today's Thursday, so two yeah. days ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, in honor of uh, spring, I wanted to come and be bright like a daffodil. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but then I thought I kind of matched my car going out with the pollen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like a big old pollen pie. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's all in my car. It's on top it of my car. When you watch people drive through um, the drive, the parking lots and stuff, it's like a whoosh. There's uh -huh. this <laughs> pollen whoosh going around. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. So uh, my, my, you know, I, I wasn't here last I'm week, me, right? I'm your pollen whoosh. Look, I'm I like the my pollen sleeves. whoosh, yeah. Ooh, pollen whoosh. You can yes. also be a bright sun. We need to have like little radiating things coming off of you. That's right. Or can we do that? Or I could be an egg yolk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm bright like an egg yolk. Well, then just be over easy today. There you go. Megan. Absolutely. That's the way to be. I am over easy. <laughs> Always. I like it. Always easy. Yeah. So. But yeah, so this is a podcast we do. It every is a week. podcast. Uh, it's called In the Know. We do it from the Darkroom Studio here at Craven Community College. We're in uh, Barker Hall, which is located in the Public Radio East building. There's a lot of things going on in this building right now, too. They're having there, their fun drive there are. Uh, this week. Uh, but uh, so we do this show every week. We talk about things going on at the campus, things going on in our community. We have uh, sometimes people who work at the college and students come in and talk. Sometimes, again, people from the community. Uh, today we'll have our guest, Dara Morgan from the Bank of the Arts, talking to us about all the fun things going on over there. Uh, but we can't do any of this without some help from the booth, That's right? That's right. She makes us sound good and look good. Good morning, Zanetta. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, lady. <laughs> and Rashim, hello, Nikki. Good to see y'all. Everybody having fun today? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Sounds like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is a good day. It is. So um, you want to share a little bit about our guest today and then before I go into the uh, National Day of? Uh, share a little bit about our guest, yeah. uh, Darren Morgan from the Bank of the Arts. Yep. So uh, yep. people will hopefully stay tuned and come back. So when we talk a little bit more about with Dara, are you yes. ready? Uh, I'm ready. I mean, I, I mentioned that she was here before. Oh, I'm sorry. But I, I can do it again just in case anybody didn't, didn't see. Sorry. So that act, that's actually a very good segue into our National Day of, which is National Memory Day. Okay. <laughs> so apparently I forgot. A lot of times when I'm talking, I can see your eyes just kind of glaze over. Yes, you're yes. Like, I'm, you're waiting to say the next thing, and that's okay. Yeah. That, that's just, but I, okay, so I must have forgotten. That's okay. That's so, right. um, and I, I thought this was also really uh, important because our students are going into, like, pre- finals time mm -hmm. and, and there's uh, other school um, age children are going to be doing like end of the year testing and things like that sure. so I got a couple testing um, tips for you so people think that memory has something that is used to remember past events however there's actually three functions of memory the first function is memory is to acquire information the second and third functions of memory involve the ability to retain and retrieve information so test taking tips Acquire the information by reading, listening, and organizing your notes from class. Retain the information by using repetition. Find a quiet spit place away from distractions. Read and reread your information. Test yourself or have a friend test you on your information. And then when you're taking your test, your brain will retrieve the information and your memory once you begin to recognize the information on the test. Those are great tips. Great I, tips. I, I didn't absorb all of it because I wasn't following step one. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, it's good information. You know, when you are taking tests on a regular basis, mm -hmm. you have much stronger skills in doing that. I don't think I've taken a test since grad school, so we're eight, ten years out from that. So, just wait. There will be a test later. Oh, you're going to test me? I am. Okay. <laughs> and things, Dara. That th things that we're <gasps> saying and doing today. Yes, absolutely. Oh, wow. So okay. there's actually four different types of memories. Do you know what do they one. are? This is not a test. This was just a question. Uh, four different types of memory. Mm -hmm. Short term. Yep. There's a medium one somewhere. There's sensory, <laughs> sensory, um, sensory, and short-term working memory, and which is your cognitive tasks, and then long-term memory. Okay. So, um, which is your favorite? 
the one I can remember. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> have, have you ever, I don't know if it's in your notes or not, the theory of how memory plays into deja vu and how that works? No. Tell yeah. me, because I got deja vu too. Right. So memory has different phases, right? So you remember something initially, you absorb it, and mm -hmm. then if it's important enough, it'll get filed away, okay. and then it turns into longer term memory the more it's used, right? Okay. This is this is Craig, not a scientist. Just want to <laughs> clarify that. Uh, but somewhere in the brain, when it's trying to go from that first one to the second one, okay. sometimes it'll do a little stutter. So it'll hit it twice. And everything in your brain thinks that this has happened before because all of the experiences that you have have happened before, uh, like a split synapse of a <laughs> whatever amount of time you would call that just before that happened. Interesting. Yeah. So you believe that. it really happened. Yeah. But it did. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm here to tell you nothing's real. So that's stop. why I'm here today. This yes. Is <laughs> so people ask often, like, what was your earliest memory? Because they say that in the, the 30th weeks of gestation, babies actually start forming memories so they can recognize their mother's voice and mm. things like that. So do you know what your earliest, probably not in the womb. No, but I'm just like, I got to get out of here. I got <laughs> stuff to do. <laughs> but can you think of like your earliest memory? My earliest memory? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, I was at the drive-in okay. movie theater. Uh, my I was in my mom's car. She was in the back seat. I was in the front seat. I was probably three, mm -hmm. uh, standing in the seat with my hands on the steering wheel and the uh, little box where the speaker uh -huh. is was on the window, and I was watching Star Wars. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So my very first memory is watching Star Wars at the drive-in. My, yeah. I was thinking about that. I was walking in today, and I'm thinking, and again, I might have my little synapses going backwards or my mm -hmm. timeline a little bit off, but I remember um, we left California to go to Georgia. That was, you know, from home base, you know, where I grew up or where I was born, and but they we stopped along the way to kind of do, you know, Disneyland and Grand Canyon and mm -hmm. those kind of things, and I remember. I think the closest thing I can remember back was um, being in the Grand Canyon gift shop, mm. picking out what little Indian doll I was going to get. Okay. And, you know, with the little braids and the little mm -hmm. leather dress and the beads. I yeah. think that's the earliest I have. It's really kind of fascinating when our brain it was about three also. comes online. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever happened before that, it was yep. just... I guess it's a lot coming at you. Yep. It's like, I, I can't absorb all this. It's like, just let me walk first. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me figure that out. And then we can start remembering uh -huh, other stuff. Uh -huh. yeah. So if you have, if you'd like to comment and share what your earliest memory yeah, was memories. or your favorite memory or something that you go to. So that'd be cool. Yeah. So comment. We like that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So you're going to ask Dara her first memory? I am. Yeah. Hi, Dara. Thank you Hi. for being with us, by the way. It's she's so with, good to be I, here. Back again, she's with the Twin Rivers Artist Association, and uh, you're going to be here to talk a little bit about our Craven Community College exhibit and some other fun stuff that's going on with the art councils, and so we're, we're so glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So do you have, the, can you remember your earliest memory or <laughs> recall? Ooh. I shouldn't have said memory. Do, recall um, it? Okay. So... If you want to a share. A lot is fuzzy. Mm -hmm. So I think that my first memory is really probably when I'm about five years old. Okay. Um, and it was in kindergarten. And back then, we didn't go to kindergarten every day. Um, we went every other day. And I just loved it so much. Um, and I remember... <laughs> this is crazy. I remember our kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Smith, who was my favorite teacher ever. Um, and she got us and had it wheeled in. It was this big surprise for the classroom, a kitchen set. Ooh. But this was in the, you know, 1980. So it was like this wooden splinter ridden. I mean, it wasn't then, but it eventually turned into one probably mm -hmm. but it was made out of wood and it was heavy and it was not you know it wasn't like the a little tykes thing uh -huh. of today mm -hmm. and the so colorful bright plastic ones no not at all mm -hmm. it was wooden and it was it was so cool though because it was our own fridge and our own thing and I just I just remember being in that classroom and the day that we got that everybody was kind of really wired 
And um, I remember running around the classroom in a big circle over and over and over again, being chased by one of my classmates, David Figley. And we were just <laughs> so, I mean, we were having so much fun. And that's David and Dara had zoomies. Yeah. We had, we did. We were like the, the cats. We were total cats or dogs. I don't know. That's too funny. So, yeah. That, oh, that's exciting. Yeah. So that was fun. That's a good, good yeah. story. But, you know, you talking about kindergarten you know what it made me think of hmm. i uh finger I, painting well yes it, it did uh, <laughs> the beginning thinking, of your how, art life how great would it be if in all of in all of us at our job at least one time a year there was a kindergarten day and we mm. got to take naps we got to finger paint we got to just <gasps> like be kids and play with blocks and sing all songs the, in circles yes i want to do that and take naps I get did to I do a naps? little bit of that. I, do you? At Bank of the Arts. Yes, I oh, get to do a little it. bit yeah, of tell that. Us about that. I mean, I get I'm surrounded by artwork every day. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I of course children come in, you know, with their families and um, it's really fun to interact with them. We don't make things necessarily all the time, but we do have days when we are making things and mm-hmm. we do have something really fun that we're working on to bring art out into the community. Can you share, or is it still it's, a secret? It is a long-term project. Okay. It does involve an Airstream renovation. Ooh. Um, which I, you know, I really kind of want it to be called the Art Stream, but that's not my decision. That's something to be revisited down mm-hmm. the road. That's fun, but though. an art studio on wheels that we can take out into the community, and so that, you know, that is like a kindergarten classroom right there we can take finger painting everywhere mm-hmm. and or any other type yeah. of art or craft so yeah um I yeah guess finger so. painting is probably the first introduction to art for most of us mm-hmm. right i would or imagine no? well, well crayons no, what play-doh. am i forgetting play-doh play-doh, play-doh. 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 Yeah. crayons okay yeah um Play-Doh, mm-hmm. crayons, which is interesting. Silly putty. Did you do the silly putty <gasps> and then put it on the, top comics? Of the comics and peel of it course. back? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's kind of cool art, right? Very much so. Different mediums. Yeah. I was fascinated pies, by that. Mud pies you could actually have done. You know, that's a kind of a creative mode as well. Mud pies? Mud pies. Yeah. Mud pies. Oh, mud pies. <laughs> and that's if I you're just... a t-shirt that says, mud pies is my creative <laughs> mode. <laughs> <laughs> and accurate. that's just if you're actually, you know, making something with your hands. I mean, the other arts are singing. And I remember singing to my grandma and grandpa's chickens on the farm. Um, they were my audience. And I my stage was the flatbed truck. So, you know, we're always making art somehow, no matter what medium that's God. fair i mean it's one of the most you know, wide-ranging subjects in the it's world amazing. Really, because, it, because it is so determined by the person who's making it or receiving it mm-hmm. and no right. matter who you are no matter you know we're at a community college right and mm-hmm. so there are a lot of different people here who have different career paths and different interests but um there's always value to art whether it is just getting ice cream at cow cafe and then coming in at bank of the arts and just relaxing and walking through and checking out the monthly exhibit or if it is you know taking a a pottery class or trying you know anything just trying anything at all sitting down with a sketch pad even garden design is absolutely so hmm. horticulture and we actually are doing that too over at craven terrace um we work with uh uh, the kids over there um, and the master gardeners um, so that's one of the mm-hmm. other projects that we're doing um, and always looking for volunteers for various projects like that too so um, but yeah I mean the kids have made stepping stones they have made um, they've they've made pots and they're now planting everything and it's a lot of fun um, it's the third Saturday every every month mm-hmm. so yeah so Dara what's that the exhibit like that's up right now so right now, um, it is getting ready to come down. It is a truly fascinating exhibit. Um, this this artist, it is a solo exhibit, which we rarely do, honestly. Um, and his name is Michael Dorsey. He is an ECU professor. It's called the Alzheimer's Fantasies. Um, if you like surreal work, um, very dreamlike or mm-hmm. kind of weird just stop in and see it because you will you will be fascinated there's a little bit of explanation at the bottom of each um, piece of artwork but 
Uh, he is a he was a caregiver for his wife Susan. They were married for 53 years, mm -hmm. and he created all of this artwork with her by his side as he was taking care of her. Um, and he had to modify his studio. He couldn't go up in his studio because she kept following up up there. And mm -hmm. um, so that's what's there now. Um, definitely worth coming coming and taking a look. Well, it's but, interesting you brought bringing that up because back to our National Day of Memory Loss, um, mm. there's six diseases associated with memory loss. Yeah. And the number one is Alzheimer's. Yes. Um, vascular dementia, Parkinson's, Huntington's, HIV and AIDS, and one that I've never heard of, and it was called wernick karsakoff syndrome. Have you ever heard of that? Mm -mm. So anyway, I just thought that was really interesting. But, you know, it's aging yeah. and head trauma and vitamin deficiencies and stress. There's all kinds of things that can trigger memory loss. And so... You know, if, you, if you're feeling that or you see it in your loved one, you know, seek help. Absolutely. And the nice thing about this exhibit is that um, all of the pieces are for sale. Um, and he, the artist is donating his portion of the proceeds to the Alzheimer's Association of North Carolina, which is a wonderful resource. So if anybody does have any thoughts that maybe there's something that's not right with themselves or with a family member they can slyly just walk into bank of the arts look at the exhibit grab a pamphlet stick it in their pocket nobody will know read about it mm -hmm. see if it's something maybe they should look into more privately or not and um and that's a group that is um has wonderful resources that i was not aware of until i saw or, or until they they were part of this exhibit sure. so well the first time because we actually mentioned that in, a, in our community events one at the very end mm -hmm. of the show That's for right. the last several weeks we've been talking about this art exhibit and the first time i read it i was like am i reading this wrong i'm like it just caught me off guard so, yeah yeah it was so i'm looking forward to get, actually getting down mm -hmm. there and seeing it yep so you said it's going down soon right it's coming it down is soon, so. i um it, it comes down the end of the month okay um it it has been up since um Oh my gosh! What month is this? January, yeah. January, so February. Yeah. So is I'm it? sorry, it was a February, March. So, yeah. man, I really am no, losing no, I'm with it because it was Alzheimer's Awareness Month. I believe was February or March. I don't know if we're in it or it just happened. I I think that he did. We did coincide. Mm -hmm. it, you know, kind of try and correlate the two. Yeah. But um, but we just wanted to uh, get him in there when we knew that he had a show that was substantial. He always has substantial work. Um, he he is um, he would have been a a gift of a professor to have. Um, I feel like one actually uh, my RE executive director had the privilege of having him mm -hmm. as a teacher. Oh great! And yeah, so so you brought us some props, some artwork in a bag. I did. Can you share what's in there, please. Well, that this is for the May show, but I did want to touch on the April show. Yes. Okay. Because the April show has a lot to do with Craven Community College. Great. Um, and there are several students that are signed up for it. Um, so the the April show is our Twin Rivers Artist Association, mm -hmm. which is our local artist guild. Mm -hmm. um, and then Craven Community College students that are art students. Um, and uh, so they bring their artwork. It's every April um, that this happens. And Dr. Stott actually comes and chooses the the winners and the prizes for um, the Craven Community College students. Um, always a treat to have him come in and yeah. walk around and look at that artwork. Yeah. But um, I don't have a number of how many students we have this year, but I'm very, very, very excited because sculpture is back at Craven Community College, hey. uh, and my friend is teaching it. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that she too is a wonderful. I would kill to have her as as one of my teachers um, of sculpture, and uh, so I can't wait to see what they bring. Um, she's also teaching ceramics, and um, and then of course, and who is this? Uh, uh, Mayron Gwynn. Okay. Yeah. It's always a really great show. She has I've, I've, I've been the last couple yeah. of years to the student art show. Uh, it's typically the the opening night this time is April twelfth, right? Which yes. is that is typically during Art Walk when they have it. Uh huh. Right? From five to eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, and it usually fills the, the absolutely. Space. We uh, have two. Yeah, there are. You know, the artist guild have 
um, open their arms to the community college. And um, so we actually have the um, both the people coming to support the local artists who, uh, you know, are not college students and that are part of the artist guild. But then we also have um, the the, you know, families and friends um, of so many of the students too show up and so it absolutely fills the room and and then that's when the winners are also announced for both shows so and then i don't know if you knew this or not but once dr stats announces who the winner is then it becomes part of the permanent yes uh, our collection our here collection here at the college yeah. yes. yes so all the previous winners are located around the campus yes. somewhere yes mm -hmm. so that's always fun to to know that you know i get to witness that and that it's kind of like oh look go and send art out into the community yeah. that's what we love to do yeah and so. elizabeth spencer has done a great and job and she uh, is also curate that absolutely that. she is always a joy to work with mm -hmm. um and 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 really helps helps me pull it all together mm -hmm. um and so it's going to be a lot of fun again this year yeah so awesome yeah so jump into May. Okay. So this May. is what yeah. I have the fun <laughs> visuals. I'm going to save the yellow thing for last, though. Ooh, it's going to match. It's going to match you. <laughs> I was say, it's the, the yellow weirdest. Thing's already here. It's Megan. <laughs> it's the weirdest one. Oh, well, that's Megan. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't have that job. That's my job. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So the next show after the, the April show is our May show, and it's called Roy G. Biv, which is the mnemonic. Um, device for the rainbow. Mm -hmm. um, I did not have that taught to me. Um, but essentially, we take Bank of the Arts and we break it, break it up into um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, and white, even though they're not technically part of the rainbow. We had eight panels. We had to make it work. Sure. Um, so... People sign up. They all get one. They all get a twelve by twelve wooden cradle board, and they can do whatever they want on it. But they have to draw a color, and that color is what they have to stick with, um, and remain in that color family. They can use other colors, but it has to mostly be that one particular the one color. Been assigned. Right, so let yes. me see the yellow one. So it'll be my panel. You want to see the yellow one first? I'll hold it up. It's next the time. weirdest she one. Wants to do yellow last. No, nah, I'm okay. doing yellow first. Okay. Let's bring it on. It's the weirdest one. Now it's <laughs> the tip of it has fallen off. These are from past years. Okay. So uh, have you heard of the the sculpture artist Catalano? Yes. And he taped the duct taped the banana to the wall and it sold for a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> I think it's a nice little result. Oh yeah, there's the the photo so, for when it goes on YouTube. That we've got our screenshot now, so that's great. <laughs> it's very yellow. So this is a judging emoji, a, 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 a yes. judging um, modern art emoji. Yes, by Regina. I, read it. Let me see. Oh, that's funny. Right. I, I forgot that was on there. Let me just do this. Regina Falange. I won't go into that story. <laughs> Okay, sorry. All right. That was, that was good. Definitely. This is um, a now Craven Community College student okay. um, who is participating in the show uh, this year. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, isn't that beautiful? She drew mm -hmm. blue. Sophia Morgan. Yes. Don't ask her why her last name is the same as mine. Told me. Um, I wonder if that's an oyster shell. Kind of, that's what I thought of. It I does. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a weird orb. I don't know. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to hold it. Um, so now I'm yellow and blue. This is a green one from last year. Now, this this is actually one of mine um, with a pen name, one. with a pen name. And that was a last minute. Um, we had someone drop out and it had to be done. Um, I think it's rolling, should, rolling hills. Pretty. Although it could be called the pollening if I added a little more yellow to it, um, <laughs> which would be appropriate for today. Got an exhibit going here. I like it. Yes. This is... Um, really fun this is one of last year's uh honorable mention winners um and i purchased this um it so it is fabric so it shows that they don't have to be paintings they yes. can be like anything it's beautiful it is literally fiber harvest what a beautiful thousands name. and thousands of tiny pieces of scraps oh, yeah. cool. made into something beautiful Salvaged fabric yes most of the pieces <laughs> are for sale 
<laughs> I'm not going to keep going. I love that. That's yeah. fantastic. So most of the pieces are for sale. Um, it's a lot of fun. There are 144 artists um, that sign up. So a, a lot of Craven Community College students are participating this year. I just ask. I'm not, I'm not, I've got talents and I've mm -hmm. got art skills, but not in this type of medium. Can you still participate? Or if you turn something in, then they're like, eh, that doesn't fit the bill. Do you get kicked out? Uh, we have what we <laughs> just, call. You can be, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I just, wondered. I have only ever put one thing away that, and okay. it was lewd. And I just, oh. I, I, mm -hmm. I don't even know why he dropped it off, honestly, because anyway, I okay, put so it in I the closet. So as long as it's the right color, you're good to go. If it's the right color, you're good to go. Yeah. Um, now, when uh, Zanetta and I made this appointment for me to come, right, um, we expected there would still be plenty of spots left. We're down to one. <gasps> wow one spot. Okay. We've never filled up faster. This is our third year doing it. And is this a fundraiser for the art? Not, re Not really. I mean, yeah. If something okay. sells, we get a commission. Out. But so, they don't pay to buy the to get the. They block. do, okay. but but okay. it's not a fundraiser for us necessarily. Okay. It helps fund prizes. So there is a prize in each color category this year. We we pay the judge, so it really funds itself. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Um, but but this is what we call. This is an example of a community show that we do. Mm -hmm. Um, and with a community show we accept all ages um we have a seven-year-old um in this show um we accept we literally have a seven-year-old and a 96 year old in this show that's fabulous yeah. i love it so it is my favorite <clears throat> okay you guys ready to play my game yes I don't my know. art game zanetta are you ready the memory game the memory game uh -oh. now um can we just have like a little dara boop, 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 were boop, you boop, boop, boop. were you were you an art major? I was not. Okay. But so, I will say that I did go to community college first. Okay. Yeah. Well, so did he. So, but North did Carolina. This. But neither one of you are art majors. So um, did you ever have to take an art appreciation class? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I don't think I'm going to throw anything out at you that you've not ever seen before. But this, these are some very classic... Uh, paintings. Oh, I'm not going to get any of this. And I how need you to horrible give me, if the I gallery need, director flunks. So <laughs> I need you to give me um, no judgment here. We're good with that. The title <laughs> of the painting and potentially the artist. Oh, okay, cool. are we ready? Terrible. And 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 our audience, yeah, if you're watching, too. please help me. Do we have buzzers <laughs> for anybody no. who's watching? Right so do now, you? Okay, so let me ask get, you. Get do on you your Google do, machines. Do you want to do it separate? So like, I start with Dara, and then then go to you. Do you want to yell it out, or do you want to like, if she doesn't want it, she can pass it to you? I, I think. And keep I'll keep score. I, you tell me. I say yell it out because between I don't know okay, I'm I'm a little concerned, All but. Right. I mean, uh, I, I would like for uh, our friends in the booth to be able to play as well. No, so that already knows it. Them. Okay. Oh, well, she fine. knows the answers. Yeah. Can Nikki see the answers can too? Can she? Can she use cue okay, cards fine. and like? Okay. No. Nope. Tell us. Okay. The, oh, okay. You, I promise you, I'm not going to throw any zingers at you. I'm scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Okay. Right. First one. Ready? Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, Dara, you've got to look at the screen though. Where? There? Because it's going to pop it up on the screen. Oh, oh, yep. oh, okay. God. Okay. Lean into your microphone, though, so when you shout out, we can hear it. Okay, go ahead, Zanetta. Oh, it's Mona Lisa. By? Uh, uh, da Vinci. Very good. All right. I raised my hand. Craig, Nobody could see that, me raise my hand. I know. That's a, that's <laughs> a very classroom. That. Very, yeah. I'm, I'm so much for the technique. shout out. So much for the shout out. Okay, next. Sorry. Uh, Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. Very good, Dara. I've actually seen that in person, Me which is too. very cool. Have you? Very mm -hmm. cool. Okay, next. Uh, the Bing. Oh, do, never mind. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, the Scream by Munch. Correct. I think that's how you say it. Edvar is his first Edvard. name. Munch. Okay. Yeah, I think there's an umlaut on the U. Umlaut. Uh, boom. Oh, do you know it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know the artist. Um, I can't remember the artist, but I it, didn't know it, it is American Gothic. Yep. Correct. Grant Wood is the name of the artist. There you go. Okay. All right. So Dara for half a point. <laughs> I recently saw a photo of uh, the two people who were the... Original? Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, the, uh -huh. the models really? for it, standing in the gallery looking at themselves. Oh, oh. that's kind of cool. Oh, I need to go yeah. find that. He was a dentist, I believe, a neighbor. Uh huh. Something like is that. Is that one of his dental tools? It is. Yes, it, it is the uh, <laughs> it for is, the local donkey. Yeah, it, was, it was the very first version Hopefully. of the Trident gum. <laughs> Huh? Trident gum. Right? Pitching. Yep. Very good. Ah! Wrap it up, folks. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zanetta, what's the next one? Oh, Bing. Oh, go ahead. Um. Oh, shoot. I had his name in front of me, and then I lost it. That's okay. Do you know what? I'm just Andy to... Warhol. Yeah, or Andy Warhol. But yeah. what's the name of the piece? Oh, I don't know. Just Campbell Soup Cans. Yep. <laughs> yep, Andy Warhol. Very cool. Do you know how many titles I see in one day? I just kidding. I get it. It's like so many students. I right, exactly. I They're like, hi, this face. is so-and-so. And I'm like, you're going to have to tell me your story again because right. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> tell me some background. Yeah. <laughs> Remind me. Give me some key points. Uh, Holly says for her parents' wedding invitation, they dressed up and posed as the American Gothic couple. Oh, oh that's, kind that's of fun. Yeah. cool. Holly, did they hold a pitchfork too? Let us know. <laughs> right. And who held the pitchfork? All right. Yeah. In Next. that one. Girl with pearl earring. Yes. Do you remember the um, the Dutch artist? Oh, that's my clue. Oh Dutch. gosh, oh my gosh, yes. Starts with a V. Um, Vermeer. Very good. Oh, Thank nice. you. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen her too. Okay. At the High Museum in Atlanta, I've seen the next one at the High Museum. Water Lilies mm -hmm. by Claude Monet. Yes. Now, has anybody else seen this in person? No, but isn't it huge? It is gigantic. So, yeah. so. this was it's something that I was not in the know. No, it was on tour. So it got, it was in the High Museum. Gosh, I I would say probably close to fourteen years ago, um, but I saw it. And you walk in, and it's it's like forty feet long and ten feet tall, and wow. it's multiple wow. panels, and it's it's unbelievable. And I was so taken back. Um, I had no idea. I mean, truly, I was I had. Did not have a clue that that's what I was going to walk into. It was incredibly impressive. Okay. Impressive? Impressive. Now Almost the, impressionist. Yes. <laughs> now, the last one has a little wordplay in it. Oh. Okay. Bing. Yes. Uh, Salvador Dali. Mm -hmm. But it's not melting clocks. It's probably called something else. The persistence of memory. Memory. Okay. Yes. Persistence Did of memory. Did you know the name? Yes. Okay. Well, then she gets points. Yeah. No. Well, I kind of lost track of points. So you're both winners. <laughs> of Yay! course we Yay! are. We're both, you're both winners. So, Dar, thank you for playing our yes. fun little game. Um, that was fun. And sharing what's going on in the community with the arts. And uh, there's always something always going on. We always talk about it. So at the end, when we're talking about community events, if you're curious about that, or if you know of something, we'd like you to also to chime in and put it in the comments as well. So Okay. Um, and anything else you want to plug before we start talking about our community events? Um, not really. The, just the following thing after May is our Juneteenth exhibit. And we've been doing it for, I think, I can't remember at this point. I think this is our sixth or seventh year. Okay. Um, features African-American artists. Um, always phenomenal work. Um, always a treat to come in. Art Walk is always the second Friday of the mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. um, so can't really tell you which day of the week or which what the actual date is of yep. that. But it's always the second Friday of the mm -hmm. month. So coming coming out to the Art Walks, it, it, they're a lot of fun, especially in the spring, summer, fall, whenever it's nice and the weather's chill, usually. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Wonderful. So well, just come on out. Art calendar. It's best to just go to the any exhibit that's happening during Art Walk. It's... Always. It yeah. doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Um, we try and change them out every month. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do them a two-month exhibit. We have a couple of those this year. Yeah. So um, we have a couple. We have some really lovely things planned this year that always make it worth it. And it's kind of like a hidden gem almost. It People easily walk by it to get their ice cream and they, they're like, what's that building? And, yeah. you know... Just come well, the in. front of it is is kind of I mean it's huge and it's this architecture yeah. it's really mm -hmm. um, big and yeah it's a beautiful space yeah it's great right. yeah. so but when you get in it feels very comfortable like you're in somebody's living room so oh yeah thank you especially when they have somebody playing the piano and things like that oh it makes yeah. It yeah always a nice nice um, environment yeah thank welcoming. you all right.
Yes. Well, Dara, thanks for coming to the show today. Really yes. enjoyed having you. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about a few other things going on in the community in the next uh, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but again, uh, we'll have some links in the comments for people who want to go and check out more uh, about all the great things going on at the Bank of the Arts. Wonderful. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thanks so much. Thanks again. Yes. Thank all you. Right. Come back and see us. Okay. And you're and welcome now? to stay while we're talking. Okay. What? Huh? Nothing. Go ahead. Your I, turn. I, I, I want my frowny face banana again all right to cover my face <laughs> just to cover mine oh. here right. yeah. you ready <coughs> and now it's time for community events the importance of being earnest march 22nd and 23rd at 7 p.m march 24th at 2 p.m in Grover at grover c fields auditorium Treat yourself to some classic fun with the outstanding comedy, The Importance of Being Earnest. Tickets can be purchased at the Bank of the Arts or online at nchistorytheater.org. <laughs> Why are you smiling at me like that, Megan? Oh, because SpongeBob the Musical is still going on. March 22nd, 23rd at 7.30, 24th at 2 o'clock, Newburn Civic Theater. Do you know who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> Come find out this weekend for their junior musical at Newburn Civic Theater. Tickets can be purchased at newburncivictheater.org. I'm going tomorrow night. Are you? I'm looking forward to it. You yeah. just sing like that? No. I'd, they should I'd, have I'd, audience participation. They have like a little sing-along. I would guess at the end. Following the bouncing ball. Boop, yeah. boop, boop, boop. The bouncing sponge. The bouncing sponge. <laughs> or the pineapple. That's right. Yeah. Hallowed Ground Lantern Tour. March 21st through the 23rd, 6 p.m. Newburn Battlefield Park. Take a guided lantern lit walk through the wooded battlefield trails where spirits from Newburn's Civil War past will share their inspiring stories. Reservations for specific days are recommended, but walk-ins will be accommodated. Tickets can be purchased online or in person at the Newburn Historical Society or at newburnhistorical.org slash lantern dash tour. So, of course, our title is In the Know. This is a great thing to learn local history. Mm -hmm. I went last year and I was super, super impressed and came away, I walked away with some really interesting stuff. So, and it takes you, the little trail takes you down by the water and mm -hmm. stuff. It's really, really cool. So yeah, it's a beautiful park. It's great. Um, City of New Bern Arbor Day, March 22nd at 11 a.m. The, Mary, the Martin Marietta Park. You're invited to the 2024 annual Arbor Day celebration at Martin Marietta Park. Join in a celebration of urban forestry and the importance of trees in our community. There will be a tree planting ceremony and a demonstration and guest speakers and I gotta flip the page and guest speakers and give always? I don't know what that means. But that's okay. Just no, it's great. Come on out and plant a tree. I need to get back out to Mark Marietta Park. I haven't been there in a while. I know they're doing fun new things out there all the time. Yes. Nice trail. Mm -hmm. Pretty views. Easter egg hunt. March 23rd at 10 a.m. I cannot believe it. Lawson Creek Park. Join Parks and Recreation for their annual Easter egg hunt. This event is free to all kids 12 and under. But Megan, you're going to have to pay if you want a basket. <laughs> there will be staggered start times for different age groups. <laughs> but don't be late because each group will start on time. <laughs> da so. bunny, da bunny. Who ate my bunny? Do you know that song? I don't, but keep going. I like where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, um, oh gosh, um, Larry and Bob. Is that from Veggie Tales? Veggie Tales. Da bunny, da bunny, who ate my bunny? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it, but I can sit here and listen to that all day. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. That's going to be a little earworm. Oh, if you don't make the Newburn um, Easter egg hunt, you can go to the Havelock one because it's the same date, the same time. It's going to be in the Havelock City Park. Join the city of Havelock for their annual Easter egg hunt. The Easter Bunny will be there. There will be games and prizes, refreshments, and egg hunts for all ages. That includes me. Um, all age groups for kids 10 and under mm, womp womp, and their abilities. So Aww. I guess I can't participate, but I'll be there to cheer them on. There you go. Yeah. So 10 and under. Yes. Uh, okay. Spring showers bring STEM powers. March 23rd, that's this Saturday at 10 a.m. After you go to the old Havelock Easter hunt, egg hunt, head on over to the Craven Community College Havelock campus mm -hmm. for more fun with the kids. Join us for an all-ages fun STEM event with hands-on STEM activities for the whole family. 
This event is open to all from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So it's perfect to attend right after hunting eggs down the road with the Easter Bunny. Yay! Science, technology, engineering, and math. Right there in the Havelock mm -hmm. campus. And sometimes it's STEAM, which includes art as well. It does. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk about Bets Bessie Smith, March 23rd at 7 p.m. at Bank of the Arts. Whoop, whoop. The gallery whoop. concert series continues with Heather Pearson duo performing music by the jazz icon Bessie Smith. Tickets are available online or at or in person at the Bank of the Arts or CravenArts.org. Can I say something? Say of it. course. She is phenomenal. Yeah. She has come here since... I want to say the second year that we've been doing our At the Gallery concert series. Mm -hmm. um, and she took a hiatus. She was our last performer before we all shut down for the pandemic. The last uh, performance she did was the music of Ray Charles, and she shut the house down. Interesting. It was amazing. She comes from uh, New Hampshire. Okay. And she does a tour going down to Florida and we are on her stop and she loves us Aww. and she is by far it just she she is a treat so I saw mm. tickets are $20 for members non-members mm -hmm. are 25 how do you become a member you can uh, sign up to be a member online that is a rolling membership okay um we do so so what that does for you is give you uh discounts for various things if you're an artist, to, to art uh, entry fees, um, but mainly to uh, tickets for our events. Okay. Um, we are also a box office for various things, like you know you had mentioned the importance of being earnest, so you would not get a discount on that. Um, but then, of course, you would know that you're supporting the arts and the community. We do so much there. We sure. have um, so much public art. We also... Uh, coord I coordinate the Newburn Bear program, um, and there's there's sculpture everywhere around town, and so there's just so much going on. I heard Ed's working. Ed McCumber's working yes. on the hundredth bear. He for Newburn. is. Oh wow. 100th, he is. Can you believe we're down to a hundred. We are. We are wow. at a hundred, and we have yes to be unveiled this year. That's exciting for a very special, very special partner in our community. So That's it's going to be fun. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, sorry to continue okay. on, but thank you for sharing us about yep. memberships. <laughs> the Spring Concert, March 25th at 7 p.m. at Grover C. Fields Auditorium. Join the Craven Community Concert Band for an evening concert to welcome the warmer weather of spring. This performance features Ann Courtney and Lynn Peck Collins. This concert is free, but donations to support the community band are appreciated. They must be those lovely flautists okay. up there. So guess what? We got a lot of things going on at the college, too. You want to talk a little bit about those? Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'll start. Campus Life Food Drive ends in March, so please bring your um, your pantry items and place in, is it just the Ward Hall, or are they in different buildings, Zanetta? Do you know? The I think just in Ward Hall at Campus Life. Okay. And this is for the pantry, is that correct? Yes. Okay. For those who don't know, the, the college does have a pantry. Pa uh, Panther Pantry, and yep. it's at all three locations. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's available to uh, students who are in need of, of food and, mm -hmm. and various uh, sundries around the house. Yep. And for those that might be listening that like to donate, they are more than welcome mm -hmm. to do as well. Um, I can tell you that uh, you would be surprised how many students are food insecure. Mm -hmm. uh, it helps a couple that are they're both students um, at the Half Block campus. And to get some groceries yesterday. Mm -hmm. So please help. Uh, we have the Great American Eclipse Lecture that's happening tonight, March 21st at 6.30 p.m. in Oranger Auditorium. We mentioned it earlier, but spring showers, spring stem flower powers. And then again, that's the Havelock campus after the Easter egg hunt, March 23rd, this coming Saturday, 10 a.m. Tickets are also on sale for the Founders Day Ball. That's the annual celebration we have here on campus of when the college was uh, of our official founding day. Uh, so that's always a, a fun party for our students and staff uh, and, and faculty, uh, April 12th. We also have, with Easter coming up on the 31st, we'll have spring break from April 1st to the 8th. So faculty and students will not be on campus, but um, and the college will be closed Monday, April 1st only. And But the rest of us will be here mm -hmm. working. That's so right. If you need anything, just holler. And 
thinking about starting uh, college at Craven, summer registration does begin on April 8th. That's for curriculum students. Of course, uh, workforce has always got uh, openings, but if you are looking at pursuing a degree certificate or diploma, uh, there's always an opportunity to get started, and our next uh, summer registration begins on April 8th. Very good. Star party. Does that mean we're going to go look at stars, or I get to be the star at the party? It's both. We're going to throw you up in the air. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Where, where that? Yeah, I'll wear, wear this the color. yellow. Yes. We'll suspend you. <laughs> My beaming of light. April right. April 9th at 7.30 p.m. at Flanners Beach. Excellent. Lots of great things going on yes. on campus. So we will, um, we've had a wonderful show. Again, we want to thank Dara for being out here today, talking all things art in our community. Mm -hmm. And Craig, it was fun uh, hanging out with you again. When you're, when you're gone, we miss you. I know. I miss being so, here. But, but we are glad. Um, but guess what? We're going to be back here next week. Perfect. Yes. So Thursday, March 28th, we'll be back talking about the Noose Bridge River Run. Um, I did that backwards. Noose River Bridge Run. And uh, it'll be back and we'll be discussing all of the fun stuff for the, our next annual event. Sounds great. Yeah. So come back, watch, rewatch on YouTube, <laughs> share, comment. Um, but in the meantime, we will see you guys all next week. And in, in the meantime, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>